Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure. Welcome back to the old Transport Fever 2. And uh, we're at Aura, where the uh, the new uh, like commuter service, intercity service, whatever service it is, is uh, is setting off uh, towards Uojima. And uh, here's the thing, it's, uh, yeah, it's costing me money. Uh, I think it just doesn't travel far enough. Um, and, uh, well, it's, I mean, it does a decent distance, I suppose. Uh, but fundamentally, it doesn't make any money. Uh, if we bring up the routes here... Uh, you'll see the situation that we've got going on at the moment. Uh, the uh, the original intercity line that I've got set up, 200k a year. It's not brilliant, uh, but then uh, the uh, the running costs are, are are being offset. See, no, wait, we're only offsetting the running costs ever so slightly. There are 36 passengers. Got a full load on board at the moment. Uh, let's go follow it into wherever it's going. Where are we going? I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Well, we're obviously going to the city. Um, uh, but uh, but when it arrives, it, it needs to pay off in quite a significant fashion. Uh, these are not... I'm going to switch the other side. Here we go. Uh, so, so I'm not hitting my head on every catenary pole as we go along the way. Um, yeah, what? Oh, I can't really remember. I was going to say something about... Some, uh, yeah, no, no, still can't remember. I thought I might be able to cover it there. We could just write this off as a bad lot and skip... <laughs> Okay, as it turns out, that actually made me a decent chunk of change carrying a full load there. Uh, but that's where we need to get to, is we need to be making sure that we're we're really packing the passengers in as much as possible. I should get a commuter bus service set up in Uojima as quickly as possible, because that will, uh, that will ferry a few more passengers to the main station. Uh, but I think I will save that uh, for when I redevelop this area. Uh, I need to bulldoze all of this. And, uh, and all of that, lay them uh, parallel to the station and lay the track in properly and all that kind of stuff. That's a, that's a 10 million quid job, no matter which way you look at it. Anyway, it's not what we're doing today, no. Uh, today, we're going to try and make our second line here, the, uh, the Ura line that we were looking at originally. We're going to try and make that pay off. Um, and in order to do so, uh, we're going to continue the line down here that's running on the left as you look at it. Uh, and then we're going to branch out round here and uh, and head down i might follow the coast i might not it depends what sort of mood takes me uh as far as kokobu and we want to come in on this side so that we can then build a, a nice span bridge going over to kashima uh, and then that will form a uh, a nice four stopper that should mean that we'll we'll pack in a few more passengers i mean it'll fuel the growth on these cities as well which is quite good um, but, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so I'm going to probably start at this end thinking about how you're going to do that bridge then. Well, we want to go over the, uh, over the narrowest point. Now, this means that there, this might be a good excuse to use an elevated station again. Not that I need one, you understand. I don't need to justify myself. Uh, something like this. Uh, I don't know. What are you looking at? I don't know. What am I looking at? What is this? I don't know. What am I looking at? Uh, it, it's one of these. Okay. Ah, this is this is fresh and new and interesting. Uh, I like it. I like it too. Um, it doesn't need to be two, two track though. We only need one track for this. Uh, this is a single track station because we won't be running sufficient services, or will we? Um. No, I think it's highly unlikely uh, that we run sufficient services to warrant more than a single train in between these two stations at once. So this could be double track possibly, but then forming a single track bridge, which might actually look quite nice. Uh, right, what do you look like? Ah, there you go, my friend. Uh, so once again, we're going to go for, for a 240. We want to keep a consistent length all the way along the line. Um, and, uh, and then we want to make it look great. Yeah, okay. So uh, let's spin this around. And as you can see, look, 35 grand for this station. That's that's not really a fair price. I'm, I'm rather, uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm on a fiddle uh, getting that kind of value out of it. Although I expect that I'll probably spend more than that in a moment when I start doing uh, uh, terrain costs to make this actually viable. How do you feel about that angle? Not awesome. Okay, all right, well, well, we'll tweak the angle a little bit. Uh, what if you were to park it over the road there? Do you reckon you could get away with the... Yeah, I reckon I could get away with that. That'll do. 
yeah, that will actually do. And then we'll reshape the landscape around it to make it fit. Okay. Yeah, no, that's quite cool. Um, yeah, that's 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 come out quite nicely. Uh, you, you have only put one track on there. No, you have got two tracks on. Well, I guess you're doing a two-track bridge then. So, uh, well done. All of that talk about the number of tracks you needed, completely pointless. Uh, right, okay. Well, uh, I'm going to stick with the old J-Slab, you know. Yeah, it's... Uh, I, I quite like it. Uh, for, for elevated sections, it works rather well. Uh, let's get across here in whatever means necessary. You're probably going to want some pillars. Just just saying. There you go. Jolly green. Can you get a boat under that? Pretty much. Pre pretty much, yes. Uh, if we keep it on the flat, it is on the flat, uh, then that should work out nicely. Yeah, I'm not sold on it either. No, I don't. I'm going to. I'm going to invest. I'm going to poke a couple more options and see if there's anything that feels a little bit more uh, to the point. No, no. Um, yeah, something that feels a little bit more maybe you know appropriate to the scenery that we're that we're working with here. I do like an undergirder, as you know. Uh, what about that? It's pretty, but it's not all right. It's not right for this occasion. That's that's rather too ostentatious a uh, uh, an edifice. That, however, is glorious. That will do absolutely beautifully. It would be nice if it would meet the station here. Um, I might have to. Fi I'm going to fish up a bit of scenery later on. I think in in terms of pillars and that kind of behaviour uh, to to round these off. In this kind of initial instance, however, all I'm bothered about is actually just getting the thing running. Uh, yeah. What about a bit of a bend on it? Where are you taking this into? Probably just straight into there, actually. Yeah, all right. Well, you've got to be careful on your on your elevation, otherwise you'll uh, you'll run into you know difficulties. How's that looking now? Still looks good. Well, let's use it then. All right, three up. Way whoa. Hey, check your pricing before you hit the commit button. Yeah, three and a half million for that bridge. Well, I mean you've got to build one. Yeah, but. Three and a half million feels a bit steep. I mean, what's the comparative cost here? That's three and a half million. I think it's going to charge you three and a half million for this bridge, you know. Yeah. And you want to double track it. That's only one and a half million. Oh. Look, when we're talking about two million when I'm pretty skinned, uh, that's, you know, that is not something to be sniffed at. How do you think about how... How, yes, do you feel about this concrete? Well, it's not as lovely, but it's half the price. But it's half the price. Right, there we go. That's that settled. Uh, now then, hopefully you won't put up a fight. You shouldn't do because you snapped all the way along. And there we go. All right, I guess we are running two-way track up here. Well, I mean, that future proofs it just in case I decide later on that uh, what I really want in the, in the world is uh, something. Uh, right, now then, a, a straightforward uh, terminating station of 240 metre length, please. That's, that's all. I'd, um, yeah, you know you said you were going to put it in there. Yeah, that's not going to work. No, I rather think it isn't. Uh, you're going to need to build this with some kind of maybe spiralling down uh, track in mind, and you're not going to get any payoff from this at all unless you build a commuter service. Yeah, where's the where's the existing? Give me. I want to see both on the screen at the same time, please. Thank you. Uh, you could build across the back. That gives you enough room to. You know, work it round. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I wonder if I'm maybe a little high. Let's sink it ever so slightly. Yeah, also that change of angle that you did on your bridge uh, has probably probably made this more difficult. Uh, do you want to measure this up a little bit more thoroughly? I can't help but think that you're about to, uh, you're about to build something that's going to be very difficult to work with. Yeah, all right, hang on. I mean, you could you could pre-flatten where you're going to stick the station. No, 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 it's okay. Look, look, the angles, the angles, good. We stick it up there. You just build a road up the side of the mountain, and it's a big hill. It's not a mountain. There you go. No, oh, no, I'm committing to it. Let's. I mean, let's not hang around. Let's get this uh, get this stuff moving. Yeah, yeah, I know. But build it once and do it properly, and you never need to build it again. That's not true, is it? We we build things again for, you know, fun and larks. Right, okay, let's... Uh, do you want to change the angle on your bridge? A little bit, yeah. Okay, well... Yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah we could probably, probably do it from there. 
All right. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather you'd, you'd done this beforehand, but carry on. Now, we're going to go back to the J-slabs. Uh, I'm all about the J-slabs at the moment, so uh, let's let's see where this gets us. All right, if we crow flies this bad boy, how do, you, how do you feel about life? Too much slope. That is not the right answer at all. No. No, it really isn't. I mean, it's a lovely, it's a lovely winding path that you've got there, but we can't do anything with too much slope. Okay, all right, well, work the problem. All right, well, first off, steep downhill. All right, let's let's get a let's get a proper tight angle on that, because we're we're clearly going to need to do some kind of uh, S bend of some description to make this work. Hopefully not too egregious an S bend, but you know we'll uh, we'll review that situation as we get a little bit closer to completion. All right, try it now because it's going to it's already going to wiggle a bit as we go down the way. And too much slope. Oh, flipping heck. Yeah, it's not too late to give up on this plan, you know, and, and put the station somewhere else. You, you, you haven't sunk too much into this yet. Yeah, even if I were to just drop that, I don't want this to wind around unnecessarily. Yeah. You, you know, I mean, your choices are make the bridge go up a little bit. Expensive. Yeah. Or bring the station down a little bit. Still expensive, but not as expensive. All right, yep, all right, we'll do that. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, don't bother measuring it mantra there coming into full effect. And this is a bit of track. Yeah, get rid of that too. All right, so if we're bringing it down, let's uh, let's eat the let's eat the cost here, and uh, and build it in parallel with this bit of road, uh, or take the bit of road out, or whatever it is that you need to do to make yourself happy here. Let's just. Let's just bring it down, and then we'll have more success. Down, please. Down, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, what are you colliding with? The world. All right, 8.3. Now, obviously, this is pretty manky at the moment, so I'm going to need to, uh, I'm gonna need to tidy it up a bit. But as I mentioned a moment ago, right now all I'm trying to do is get the financing working. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what are you what are you doing now? I don't know. I'm I'm moving it around. See if I can get a second opinion. The second opinion is going to be you probably shouldn't build this here. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Now that said, this station is on the flat. I'm going to put it in. Uh, the station's on the flat. So if I were to then take this bit of road out and maybe a couple of these buildings, flatten to the height of the station. Uh, continue flattening around the corner at the same elevation, then we'll end up with a, a nice kind of tiered plateau effect uh, kind of deal for the for the town to grow on. You reckon? Look, I'm, I'm hoping that's the case. Anyway, look, this will now work perfectly and won't give me any more hassle. There you go. Thank you for following through on what I just said. Yeah, you know how you change the angle of your bridge. Yeah. You gotta change it back again. <laughs> no, no, no. That wouldn't be changing it back again. That would be changing it further. Yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, you dropped to 107 there, which is a little bit. It's a little bit slow. We can probably go a bit further than that. Uh, this is all gonna be worth it, you know. And obviously, I've got the. I've, I've still got the big bit to build, uh, which is going to be the. Uh, uh, the, the network going across the, the island itself or going down the island itself yeah you reckon that why don't you connect up now and then you'll be able to get a uh, a full quote right 129 yeah uh, what are you doing here uh, dropping a 104 88 86 91 that's fine that's the station approach that's acceptable I'm not happy about the 129 though Ah, stuff it. As Isambard Kingdom Brunel always said at the end, towards the end of a project, ah, stuff it. Just get it finished. Yep, that's uh, that's how he managed to accomplish so much. He'd start off with bold ideas and big visions and what have you, and uh, and towards the end of it, he'd go, oh, it's near enough. Get on with it. Uh, right, let's uh, let's grab that there. You did put a single track station in, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, of course I did. You're gonna check though, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, of course I am. 
yeah, that's fine. Okay, no, this is all right. This is gonna be this gonna be finished in a moment. Uh, right, and then we'll work this through onto a set of points up here somewhere. Actually, go a little bit further, right? And then a set of points just on the corner. Okay, because we don't need a two-track station. It's, it's highly unlikely there'll ever be two trains uh, in this area at the same time, and if they are, then they'll just have to wait at the points. A signal. Points do something else. Oh yeah, okay, fine. Uh, right, okay, so we now need to uh, to work this magnificent edifice around the corner. I know I need to connect that up to some road. Uh, around the corner and uh, up towards Uwe. Jima. We're going to come out to the right-hand side of the station, and uh, and that's going to work perfectly. Now, I want to make this one, because uh, here's, here's where you get options, right? Is your options are relatively straightforward. Do you want it to be scenic, or do you want to just make it efficient and go as the, uh, go as the crow flies as much as possible? Now, the crow flies is the efficient way to go. It's very expensive to do, but it makes you the most money in the long term. Actually, don't do that. Take it, point it in the right direction or about here. What are we looking at in height difference? You know, not much. So if I, uh, if I leave that like that, yeah. Right, now, uh, now do a quick measuring stick. A quick measuring stick. All I'm checking for here is whether there is an elevation shift along the way. So that's purely on the flat, and we end up just ever so slightly higher up than, than our target. Perfect. Okay, good. Four and a bit million to go in a straight line. Nah, I don't want to do that. No, I want to try and uh, I want to try and take around the edge of the the edge of this hillside as much as possible. Uh, it won't be that much because I can't change my my angle of attack uh, too radically. Otherwise, we won't get a good connection. Uh, right. So tunnel out to the first bit. Try and go around the outside of the second one. Yeah, because it's only a short. It's, it's only a short tunnel. It's uh, it's not short enough to be considered cheeky, but it is. Uh, it's only a short tunnel. We might get another one here as well if we're staying on the flat. Yeah, short tunnels with an occasional emerge. Keep an eye on your balance. Uh, yeah, there you go. Hook round. You're gonna need to hook round. Keep an eye on your speed. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, and now you need to work your way back because you've come out too far this way. But you are rewarding the passengers with some beautiful views. We'll watch the beautiful views when we ride on this in a moment. Uh, right. I think we might end up bridging over here, you know. It's going to look nice. It is, but it's going to be expensive. Uh, yeah. Later on, we throw all notion of expense out the window. Once I'm, once I'm printing a, a heck of a lot of money... Uh, expense can just clear off. Frankly, it's, it, it has no uh, it has no right to be here. Bit of jolly green. We could go that way. I quite like jolly green with a bit of uh, dec decorative fencing. Then you shall have it. All right. You probably ought to set the game back in motion in a moment. Not before I've dealt with that uh, that town where I've uh, I've not hooked the station up yet. Otherwise, it will start building weirdly, uh, and then we'll all be in trouble. Right, okay, let's get back down to the one that I had, which I think is that one. No, it's that one. Well, why is it gone? Why have we gone grey? There you go. You happy now? I am happy now. How's the angle? Bad. Okay, all right. Well, look, we'll just we'll bend it a bit. Like Beckham. Whatever. Uh, yeah, a little squirt around there. See, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is nice. Okay, uh, and that, that, how does that do for angle of attack? Not so bad. A bit swan necky, uh, but we'll, we'll be okay. All right, and now, do we want to bring it down at all? Uh, yeah, back it up a bit and bring it down a little bit. Okay. I think it'll look neater this way than trying to do it once we're over the other side of the, uh, the river. Uh, obviously, we're going to need to maintain some some elevation to get over the river, but uh, we are doing so. Hush. See, look, too far. All right, go to there. Uh, go to there. Right. No, no, no. Pull, pull her back. Pull her back. Come back. Right there. Yes. Now go straight up. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, that's tasteful. 
All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Give me the. Give me the bridge. I want the bridge. Give me the. Give me the. Give me the bridge. Uh, that one. Um. Yeah. All right. That's not gone brilliantly, has it? Uh, no. It's not gone terribly. It's not gone brilliantly though. Well, that. Nope. That one. No. This one. No. It's a bit overkill. Yeah. It is, isn't it? Uh, what about no? This. Yeah, again, overkill. I just want something with uh, some short sides, like that. That will do splendidly. That's just a lump of metal that you've dropped over the top of the river. Yep, gets the job done too. Uh, right, yeah, we're all level crossing over here for now. Uh, try and keep the speed up for as long as you can. Uh, let's go 140 and then we'll abruptly steer in in order to make our connection. Uh, right, okay, so this is going into platform one. Now, I am still not yet ready to uh, to go into signaling mode and, uh, and branching and all of that jazz. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna come up this way on, uh, on a bulldozer rampage, because uh, it's what the people demand. Right, okay, so come on in, round the corner. Yeah, to about there, 80s so-so, I suppose. Yes. Okay. And then, I'm afraid your lives are about to be forfeit. Bulldozer rampage through that. That's only a quarter of a million. I've spent more than that already today, so that's fine. Uh, and then you hook up in alongside that and come in about there. Okay. Well, it's not really hooked up in and alongside that, has it? No, it's not. But it's... Given that we're going to redevelop this probably another three or four times, it's perfectly fine. Okay. All right. I don't know if the road traffic would agree with you there, but uh, yeah, I think you've got it. I think I've got it too. Good. And I've still got 1.7 million in the bank. Well, I think you're probably going to need that as we move into the redevelopment of town phase. Um, yeah. Now, this is only ever going to be lightly trafficked, this one. Uh, I don't think either Kashima or Kokobu are going to be uh, particularly large uh, in terms of town size, but we should get enough passengers on there to support one route. I, if you'd looked at this angle before, you would have spotted why it's this, this bad. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now then, what are you going to do with this? Something like that. Maybe a bit of this. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, yeah. You've, you've clearly thought this through. You're under a million left now. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I, uh, okay. Well, it's just show me why you, you're going to make this work then. Give me max strength, please. Decent brush size, please. And a circle. There you go. Careful, careful. That's about half your budget gone. Yeah, I know. Remember, groundworks are perilously expensive. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what are you thinking now? Well, I'm thinking I might... Uh, you've, that's gone wrong. Yeah, it has. Also, why is this brush wonky? This brush doesn't feel right. Usually you get a softer edge brush uh, at this kind of uh, stage of affairs. But for some reason, this one's uh, this one's giving me uh, nothing but blockiness. Yeah, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm imagining things. Oh, it wouldn't be the first time. Um, right, okay. I'm gonna I'm just I'm gonna settle for this for the moment i don't we're just going to go for pure practicality and it's not because i'm out of money uh it's mostly because i'm out of money so i should have space about there to stick a little entrance building uh which should get me what i need you reckon i hope there you go that'll do 400 grand i can make that happen hold on no wrong button that button there you go All right do it again give me the little entrance building but uh, look, we're, we're putting an awful lot of we'll fix this later into the agenda at the moment. You better had do because that's horrendous. Yeah, I know it is. You're probably going to need 10 million to flatten the land out to make it usable there. Uh, also, you haven't got this station connected either. Oh, I haven't. But this should, this should just take a bit of road. Yeah, but you're going to have to knock someone's house down to do it. I mean, you know, on a on a moralistic fashion, I don't really don't really care too much about that. On a how much is it going to cost me? I care maybe a little bit more. All right, you could also. Oh, Kokobu Beach. 
I might change the I might change the name. Kukubo, not Kokobu. Yeah, I know. I got it wrong. Oh yeah. Oh beach beachfront stationage. I love it. I exactly how practical it is. Probably not so much, but uh, in terms of do we love it, the answer is yes, we do. Uh, right, yep, slap in about that. Right. This all needs flattening out as well. Yeah, I know, but the AI will take care of some of that while it uh, while it moves in and goes, oh, what a lovely new, new locale we've got. What's your coverage like? Uh, 65%. Okay, well that's not the end of the world. Right, let's uh, unpause and then let's get Johnny Train off on the uh, on the case here, uh, because this is the reason we've done this. Because if we can run this chap at, uh, at full whack all the time, then we should be uh, we should be glorious. No, pull up the route. There you go. Manage the line, and we've got Ura Uajima Ura Ad Station. Yeah, zoom out a bit. Uh, Uajima. Yeah, yeah. I know you're doing the same station twice in a row. Uh, and then down here to uh, Kakubo, and then out to Kashima, and then back to Kakubo. Yeah, it's going to be a little while before those pay off, I reckon. Um, but uh, but even so, once it does, the uh, the the journey time between these two, or the journey distance, uh, should make for a profitable run. Should make for. Yeah, I reckon it probably will. Okay, right, let's up the tempo to get this departing Uajima and we'll ride that puppy all the way to the end of the line. Because uh, I came here advertising that it had glorious views. We will now prove that it has glorious views in just a moment when it reaches the start point where we will take command of the situation and run it towards the end of the line. Yeah. Which will happen any moment now. Come on, you slow flaming thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it only tops out at 100 kilometers an hour, right? Okay, which is uh, 60 miles per hour. It is not Captain Swift. Uh, it's not even Taylor Swift. Uh, right, zoom in. And camera time. Oh, everybody's happy riding on boards. Are you sure? Do they look happy to you? I mean, she looks particularly maudlin, and uh, and he's having a he's having a terrible time with his elbow. Uh, right, let's uh, let's sit it about there. Yeah, nothing better than a quick ride across the countryside with some beachside views and the occasional tunnel. Uh, I mean, it's going to be lovely. Is the uh, is the cheeky green number? That's nice. You didn't double track the whole thing, I notice. Yeah, but I will do when we've got more trains running on it. I've, I've set it up to be ready to accept. It's double track ready. Okay, so, you know, calm yourself. Uh, put a cork in it. Right, okay, here's view number one. Uh, you're either sat where you... I mean, it's Bayside, isn't it? I mean, this is just... That's, that's just tasteful with the cars going underneath. You know, it's, it's maybe not the most stunning view you're ever going to see, but it's not flipping bad. Uh, no, all right, no, I'll grant you that. What's going on here? I appear to have built a better track without a bridge underneath it. You're going to fix that? Yep. Yep. That falls into line with the things I find unacceptable in life. I thought it had already done it. But you weren't paying close enough attention. That's one of the things I do as a standard part of the uh, the operating service here. Okay. So we'll peek out the front window till we come out of the tunnel. Yeah. We've got 14 people on board. I've no idea if these 14 people actually want to go to Kokobu. Kokubo. Kokokubo. Kokokuchu. Uh, I, I imagine they do. Otherwise, why are they on the train? Well, maybe they'd already bought their ticket before uh, the new service was implemented. And they went like, yeah, that'll do nicely. Thinking they're going up to Ura. Well, they're not going up to Ura. No, I think they're rad gradually coming to that conclusion as well. Uh, they're... They'll be looking perplexedly at one another. Uh, again, where are we? Well, we're here, look. Ooh, this is the one with the beach front station. Yeah, yeah, it is. Should we go to the beach? Well, that's not where my job is. Uh, it's another one with uh, a bit of sinky concrete to stand on. No, nope, we're now up to 27 passengers. One imagines that they are trying to go the other way and they've just decided to board now while there's still seats available. One imagines. 
Uh, one does not know for sure. I want to get some. Yeah, yeah, we've got to get some supports underneath there. Uh, that'll make it look a, bit, a little bit better. What's this 60 miles an hour business? 60 kilometers an hour business. Come on. Crank the handle, auto train. Driven by robots. Put your foot down. I mean, it's not like you're going to suffer any discomfort should we have a crash. You're a robot. You're not even on the train. You're being flown remotely like some kind of drone. That's, come on, just, yeah, that's it, right? And then we'll, we'll park ourselves back inside and look through the front. We're parking ourselves back inside to look through. Oh, never mind. And, yeah. And there we go. And here we go, coming out to the station itself. Which is pretty ugly at the moment. And it's a bit of a traipse to get there. But uh, but uh, people have gone there for I don't know for reasons best known to themselves. They probably want to leave this hellscape of a town. Uh, that would make sense. Okay, well we have dropped some people off, but I suspect the vast majority of them want to go the other way. <laughs> also, we're dropping at Terminal End, which currently gives you uh, ease of access to a cliff. Mm. I've been Colonel Failure, everybody. Uh, that'll do it for this time. Uh, we'll build up some more cash reserves. In fact, the cash reserves are already building up quite nicely. Uh, yep. Repay. Yep, yep, yep. Get all that paid back now again. We don't want to be paying interest when we don't have to. You've got three million in loan. What are you doing? How much did I borrow? I don't know, but you weren't really paying close enough attention, were you? No, no clearly I wasn't. Um, yeah, no, next time. What are we going to do next? Continuing the expansion is what we're going to do next. Uh, I want to get a proper high-speed route in. So that means we're either going to do Ura out to Yoshida, uh, or we take uh, Izumimachi, I guess Mima, although we've got Kihoku there, which gives us this gully to kind of run through. Hey, you got another gully there. Yeah, I think Mima's closer, isn't it? Be one or the other. Uh, yeah, that's an interesting one. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Anyway, tune in for that because I'm sure it's going to go fairly smoothly because uh, I'm always sure it's fairly going to smoothly go. But occasionally it goes less smoothly than that. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll find you something appealing to look at. The sea. It's not really what I had in mind. There you go. We'll just, we'll just park it up. It'd be, yeah, it's only worth looking at this if there's going to be anything running over the top of it. But the train just left. It's not going to be back for three and a half months. Yeah, where is that train now? There you go. It's coming out there. All right. Oh, I will set. We'll set ourselves up for it. Flying past the camera, not on the invisible bridge. We won't. No, no, definitely not on the invisible bridge. We'll set ourselves up about here, and then it should turn up while I'm wittering on about whatever it is I'm wittering on about today. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. All right. I'll catch you next time. Cheerio. So in the early stages of this map, the success is going to come out of Uwe Jima, and it's uh, it's really a case of what can I uh, what can I expand to? Um, uh, the Shinkansen route is going to be an interesting one because I need to have good lengths of track in between stops to you know to take advantage of its top speed. Um, no, fascinating stuff. Uh, the, the performance of this map so far is pretty weird. I'm, uh, I'm getting a fairly solid 40 plus FPS at my end, and obviously I convert these down to, to 30 FPS. Um, but even then, it's still it's still judding, but without losing frames, which is a bit odd. And I don't know if that's because of trees or anything else. So if you notice uh, kind of inconsistent movement from things, that's what it is. I'll let you know as soon as my frame rate drops off, but it shouldn't, hopefully, touch wood, make sign of warding, throw salt over shoulder and stroke your lucky rabbit's foot. Shouldn't happen for a while, yet.